Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the details of Army Public School admission and a lot of other informations we are going to see about the prestigious institution called Army Public School, also refers to as APS. Okay. So what are the details we are going to see is like the basic information, list of schools, seats, dates, lot of information, complete selection flow, how they are going to select the candidates, what is the eligibility criteria, which classes we can get admissions, what are the priority, uh, you know, uh, uh, admissions uh, eligibilities, then subjects for entrance exam and syllabus, what kind of syllabus is going to be there and the school fee structure. Okay. So these are the information that we are going to see so basic information so this is the army public school is actually managed by army welfare education society like the colleges or schools are managed by like some uh, you know uh, regional officers or the universities so so likewise i think uh, for aps also like the schools across india needs to be centrally managed so that is where the aws comes to be comes into picture so they start this uh, uh, in 1983 they have 137 army public schools 249 pre-primary schools across India with more than 2 lakh students so they also have like couple of uh, you know residential schools uh, so we'll also talk about those residential schools army public school follow CBS pattern so they don't have any option since th this is centrally managed like Kendra Vidya and any other central schools they follow CBSE pattern the NCRT syllabus so here uh, they strictly follow the NCRT syllabus okay CBSE patterns NCRT syllabus so six as I said there are six co-educational residential boarding schools uh, from 5th to 12th so they take admissions uh, for the students from 5th to 12th standard so this uh, selection happens via the common uh, eligibility test co common entrance exam or a co common eligibility test so this is called CET so preference is admission to is given to the always given to since it is army public school by the name so they are giving preference to the service personnel first and then they come to the retired personals then they come to the you know civilians so remaining seats goes to the civilian so if you are a civilian parent then it's like uh, the chances uh, is uh, still there but it's very rare and you have to fight the competition to get in so seat availability to the uh, you know uh, private candidates is based on the vacancy again so first standard class one we can get admission easily because there are like uh, uh, some uh, in some schools there are up to j sections so imagine how many seats will be there for the class one admissions but the class two onwards it is based on the people who is getting moved to different schools or getting transferred based on that the vacancy list will be published and based on that they'll conduct the exam so all the information uh, regarding this uh, army public school is managed by AWS so this is the uh, parent website where we have to go and look into a lot of details here okay so this is the link so I'll share this link in the description again uh, they are not limiting themselves to the uh, army public schools but they are also having uh, various other institutes so you can see list of institute managed by AWS so army institute of management technology dental sciences medical sciences institute of management institute of technology fashion design hotel management law education and a lot of uh, these are also managed by aws okay so priority as i said so priority is given to the serving um, personnel or the retired army air force navy dsc so a lot of other paramilitary forces uh, you know crpf bsf border security force so a lot of um, the serving personals and retired personals come into picture another be benefit is grandchildren of serving and retired army personnel also eligible so if they are also private they are also eligible they are commander civilians and also uh, uh, civilians paid out of defense estimate so if you are contract employees or so you can also you are also eligible to apply and get priority in the selection okay other children are however called uh, as civilians okay so those who don't fall on under this priority category are under this one so the age limit is similar so earlier it was five years now as per the NEP national education policy 2020 so they are following the uh, age published uh, guidelines of the age that is six years should be completed by 31st March so they are calculating the age as on 31st March or 1st April you should have completed six years and these are the age criteria for other uh, you know classes also so if you are meeting one of this age criteria then only you are eligible to apply else you cannot apply because this is purely on 
online system so when you select the age it will reject your application okay so selection process happens so you have to submit the application uh, this happens uh, in the year from feb to april every year so some of the uh, aps schools are open throughout the year so you can apply anytime so that also we can see uh, pay prescribe application fees and the deposit amount then uh, class 1 class 2 and above appears uh, uh, so class 1 is priority based uh, admission no ad entrance test class 2 and above should appear for assessment exam so based on the uh, assessment and then there will be uh, interview so based on these two they will fin uh, finally publish a merit list that is the final merit list where the students get selected others they have no options okay so since there is a huge competition they conduct this assessment and interview to get you know admissions in uh, APS okay so this is the uh, you know uh, advertisement uh, ad that was posted in 2022 okay for the residential schools so the, as I said there were six residential so there might be more but this was this is what we have the current in as per current information I am sharing all these details so similar um, post will be published in newspapers also you can check in AWS website also so they uh, publish all the details like which classes they are going to take admission what is the uh, online registration date eligibility age criteria entrance exam centers where are the centers going to so this uh, exam is going to be held in the uh, on uh, not online offline so you have to visit nearby centers you have to uh, when fill, while filling this application you have to mention the centers and you have to go to the centers and uh, you know uh, appear for the examination so exam page is this for defense we have to pay registration fees for civilians it's four so so bit expensive but yeah it's worth taking so once you get admission everything changes so it is as i said it's uh, one of the prestigious uh, institutions every parent will like to you know get a, a admission for their wards in army public school so nothing wrong in trying you can give it a try if you're getting it's lucky but if you're not getting you have given your best okay so these are the residential school links also you can check the links of the individual schools like as i said in the previous list we have this all the schools i have mentioned is so um, army public school dakshai noida dolakon bias uh, pitorgar and lucknow okay you can send uh, these are the direct uh, links so what are the so this is the online application uh, direct link so this is common link uh, you know only uh, used for the admission purpose so you can apply online for any schools if there are vacancies they list the uh, classes and everything so you can select that class uh, section and uh, sorry the class standard which standard you are applying and you can uh, fill up the application online so also there is an option that you can directly visit your nearby school if you think that there is a, near, a school nearby your area army public school you can go and visit collect the application form fill, up, fill it up submit to them so you have to submit all the attested scan uh, attested copy or the scanned copy when you are doing online you have to scan it if you are uh, no, uh, doing offline then submit the xerox copy all self attested so you need to have a passport size photo, other card, the DO, date of birth certificate, service certificate, TC mark sheet. So everything. So all these documents. So I didn't mention here for if you. So basically you need to uh, these two documents uh, during the admission. Some of the uh, institution asks for other and every other document. Every other document which uh, whichever you upload online should have this 600 by say 750 pixel size maximum 350, 300 KB size. Okay. So. <coughs> and this is what about uh, information so let's go and look into the direct website uh, about the details of admissions and everything so as i said this is the you know parent uh, website called aws where they manage everything so you can see the institution everything here so if you want to check like if you're having schools in your state you can click on the state link state and directly check so i'm clicking on maharashtra and i'm seeing that there are these many schools in maharashtra you can see like uh, in uh, Pune, Digi, Kadakwasla, Mumbai and uh, you know Devlali, Devlali, Ahmednagar, Pune so a lot of schools are there you can directly visit this website or you can directly visit the school to you know inquire about the vacancy and collect the application form so this is the, where they publish about the common entrance exam for the residential school so you can click here and apply so how if once you click directly it goes to this one uh, where you can select proceed to online application or uh, so what was the website okay so here you can see the list of schools here so you can have the direct links from here all the army public school uh, names are listed here so you can check here okay 
so other informations are that which is not relevant so you can go for applying online so if you want to apply online you can select the hostel so if you select hostel only one uh, school hostel is up, uh, up available here you can just click here proceed so it will see show you if there is any vacancy so since there is no vacancy uh, it's not showing anything so you can select one of your schools which is uh, in your area and select okay if you want to see if there is a vacancy then you can click and apply so similarly here uh, you can see schools with vacancy and schools without vacancy also so if i'm uh, for example if i'm selecting uh, all area uh, for example let me see a school which is having vacancy so i think mumbai had a vacancy so i'll select uh, mumbai here okay mumbai all zones mumbai search okay and selecting so i can see the vacancy since there are vacancy they have listed so this vacancy is for 2024 not this year you can apply now and they will start the selection process and give you the uh, confirmation okay so once you click here so you'll be taken to this page where you have to click apply now so once you click apply now since this was opened very long back it's not showing up so let me uh, click on class 2 okay I'll click apply now so okay so it is coming up fresh so ignore this page so you have to fill your first name only the first name is required mobile number email address date of birth and cap capture you have to submit this once you submit it will take you this to this page where you have to fill in the application form online okay i have selected class 2 for mumbai i'm filling all the details here so your registered mobile number date of birth your personal information so so here you can see the category officers jcos other ranks or civilian so i'm selecting civilian you can select if you are a officer you can select this appropriate uh, uh, option here so you are you have to mention the mother's t mother tongue here your religion hindu muslim whatever your religion your category so based on this category you have some uh, priority also so you have to select this category and ensure that you have the certificates with you and if your siblings is selling so for based on the siblings also they will give priority so if your siblings is selling, uh, studying you can select the uh, siblings details here also i mentioned the siblings details detail information of the parents mother and father name and everything you can, need to mention it here your present address permanent address academic details which school your previous school details you have to mention it here so if you are transferring from army public school to different army public school uh, after one year or after completing 10 successful months then you need not undergo any entrance exam so if you are uh, moving from one army public school to another public school within three to four months then you are you should undergo the assessment exam then only you will be eligible to uh, you know uh, uh, take admission in the school which you are going to take admission transfer school okay so uh, that's the criteria and other schools you can just mention your private school details your examination board which examination you have taken what is the marks everything you have to mention it here and based on uh, details uh, so this uh, list uh, is uh, document list is published by uh, different schools uh, they have different document lists so for mumbai they need all these documents to be submitted so you have to take the documents uh, as i said right so this is what um, is the uh, uh, document uh, you know uh, uh, criteria to meet to be uploaded okay so let's uh, again go to the uh, web link here so you have to mention all those uh, things and then you go to the next page where you have to you know upload the documents sorry this page was opened long back so it's got uh, you know uh, disconnected now so you have to upload all the documents then you will be taken to the payment page where you have to go and pay make the payment and then you will get the application tracking details so through which you can track your applications for admissions okay so this is all about uh, army public school admission process so this is the uh, all these links and uh, information i'll be putting it in the des descriptions in case you have any further doubts please free feel free to ask in the comment section i'll be happy to help so i'll be meeting you in a next informative video thank you and please keep watching please subscribe share and like I'll see you in a new video. Bye.